Welcome back to the Damage Prevention Channel. We're going to talk about what happens when you call 811. And today, we have a very special guest, Linda Cavelli, the Manager of Operations at Pennsylvania 811. Linda, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much for asking me. Well, I have a whole bunch of questions that I believe that the audience would like to know about. Uh, what happens when you call 811, what the process is, and the first thing, the easy question is, what's the phone number? Well, obviously it's 811. You can dial it and it will take you to the call center or you can dial 1-800-242-1776, which will also get you to the call center. That seems easy enough. And are there any other methods to contact Pennsylvania 811 if you're placing a DIG notification? Well, you can use our uh, service web ticket entry. It's on our website. It's a self-serve. You um, put in your notifications yourself. That's another way to um, put in a DIG notification. Okay. Can you tell me a benefit for doing it online? Yes. You know, <laughs> you know where the site is located. Okay. So that um, it stops you from having to relay it to another person and explain where the site is located. You know. Right. Oh, that makes sense. Where is the call center located at? It's in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. It's uh, right outside of Pittsburgh. Okay. So that would make sense. Let's say I'm placing a notification and I'm in Lancaster. They might not know exactly where it is. Exactly. So if I go onto the map myself, I can find it very easily that way. Yes. All right. Great. How many tickets is it that you take on average a year? Well, we took over a million tickets last year. Wow. Now, that's not just the call center. That includes web ticket entry, web single address, and um, using uh, Coordinate PA. Okay. And this million tickets, is this all over the U.S. or just for Pennsylvania? Oh, no, no. We only take for Pennsylvania. Wow. Must be pretty busy here as far as digging goes. We are. And it's a good thing. That is a good thing. All right, and how many uh, CSRs are there in the call center to take your calls? We have um, about 50 people in operations. That, that's including my supervisors, my senior CSRs who are trainers, and the uh, call center, the agents. Okay. And what are their hours? Uh, when can we actually call you up? 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We never close. So I want to call you on Christmas at 3 a.m. That's not an issue. Yes, you can. Okay, very good. Now, so I want to go ahead and place a DIG notification. I give you a call at 811. What happens next? Well, you call into the call center. We'll have a customer service representative answer the phone. Um, they're here to help you, so they'll um, guide you through if you don't know what you're doing, if you've never called before. Um, they're very pleasant, and they'll ask you specific information where you're going to be digging. Now, sometimes we get a lot of people who've never called before saying, why are you asking me all these questions? Well, every question has a meaning and it's there for a purpose. So it helps the locators identify how deep you're gonna be digging and the width and length. So there are reasons for the questions. Okay, can you give me an example of a few of the questions that you ask? Well, uh, one question we ask is what county municipality that the work is being done and uh, the location, uh, the nearest intersection to the location. We also ask you what type of work you're doing, uh, the depth, the length and width. We also ask if you've um, marked the proposed excavation area in white. Okay, and why would they do that? That indicates where you're going to be working. So that's helpful to the locators when they come out so they don't have to look all over the yard or mark the entire property. They know exactly where you're digging. Well, that makes sense. It does. It seems, seems a lot easier than just taking them out to an open field and saying, hey, have at it. It's much simpler. And a lot of people get confused by that because we say, have you uh, marked the proposed excavation area? Why? And they'll say, but that's why I'm calling you to have the lines marked. We'll explain, no, this is so the facilities know where you're working so they know what areas to mark. Do you think it's better to mark the site in white before they place the phone call or after they place the call? Well, it's good to mark it before because you, you can better describe the area. Okay, perfect. Now, um, I know we've talked a little bit, we've talked about the routine dig notification that mm -hmm. I mentioned, but I assume there's 
various types of uh, notifications? There are. What kinds are there? We take a demolition ticket. If okay. there's going to be any demolition on a property, a building, you can call us and we'll take that. Um, we also have a routine notification, which is um, a standard ticket, which is a thousand feet intersection to intersection, whichever is greater on the same street in the same political subdivision. Uh, we have uh, design notifications. We have we take emergencies. If there is something that truly is an emergency that cannot wait, we do accept those calls. Okay. Are there different types of emergencies out there? Well, there are. We do have uh, an emergency that is we, if you would damage a line, you would call us, you would report that uh, to us, and then we would send it out, and that goes out as an emergency as well. Okay. What if I'm just driving around and I see a construction crew out there, but I don't see any markings on the ground? Ah, good question. You can actually call us. We have what we call a... Um, no one call ticket and that's if you see someone excavating you can call in uh, you can give us where the location is we can search if a ticket was placed or not if you don't see any markings and then if there's a truck there you can identify that would help us and then we send that out to the facility owners as well as an emergency that sounds very helpful i if i saw a crew working around my house and no markings i would want to know who I could call the tell on Absolutely. Because I don't want someone hitting one of my gas lines. Yes. All right. So you did mention it's one of the notifications, the design notification. Mm -hmm. How do I place a design notification? Well, the board of directors of Pennsylvania One Call System last year voted that all design notifications need to go through Coordinate PA. Okay. It's a program that we have. It's a service that we offer that you can put projects in. And all design notifications are normally the start of a project. So they want that in um, Coordinate PA. So we have the design. Then when the construction goes, we would have the construction ticket for a complex project. So it's a great project management tool. Now, Linda, you also mentioned earlier about this web single address. Well, mm -hmm. I'm unsure what that is. Can you explain that to me? I sure can. Homeowners can go to our website, you do not need a login, and you can place a notification for your home, where it, your residence. Okay. And it's very user friendly, it's direct questions, and it's very simple, and it's a, a great tool for you to use as well. Again, you don't have to relay the information to someone, you can do it yourself. Right. You know the area. Right. Who best to do it but you. Right. Perfect. And we also have web single address for contractors. Now, what that means is they do need a login to our website, and it's for only one address. It's not for I'm doing the street and all the addresses on the street. It's for one location only. And it's great for um, landscapers, fence companies to use because they normally work at one at a time. Great. great. That's a great answer. Thank you very much, Linda. And now I'm sure what the audience really wants to know is how much does this all cost? What does it cost for us to place one of these one calls? Well, it's free of cost to homeowners. And contractors, they pay a fee of $125 per calendar year, and it covers for as many times as they want to dig. If they want to dig a million times, they pay that one-time fee, and then they're covered for the rest of the year. Okay, so I can call a million times yes. myself, and it's just going to cost that one-time fee. Yes. Great. All right. Well, Linda, you've given us a lot of information today, but is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, if you call in and you have a lot of uh, area, it, your project is larger than a thousand feet intersection to intersection. Some people call in and our agents take the calls. That's a large project. So we um, encourage you to put that through Coordinate PA because, again, it's a great project management tool. You can um, make your project in there you can add your contractors how many different contractors that you want to add so all your information is in one place okay that that sounds very convenient so thank you 
thank you. All right. Well, I think that's everything that we, I wanted to ask you today. So thank you so much for joining me today, Linda. I hope you had fun. I did. Great. And please, please come and join us again. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs>